Larry Walther, this is principlesofaccounting.com, chapter 9. In this module, we will be looking at the equity method of accounting, uh, a method, a unique method of accounting for investments. Now, the equity method is used where an investor may acquire enough ownership in the stock of another company to exercise significant influence over that other company known as the investee. Uh, the investor may have the ability to direct corporate policy, corporate governance, uh, various decision making. Falls short of control, but, but there is the ability to significantly influence these items. Uh, as a general benchmark, we look for a 20% plus ownership for, for the presence of significant influence, but the ultimate test is significant influence. That might occur with an investment of less than 20%, or it may fail to occur with an investment greater than 20%. Once significant influence is present, we opt for the equity method of accounting. And the equity method ignores market value for the investment. Uh, the accounting for the investment tracks the equity of the investee company. As the investee makes money or has net income, the investor reports their proportionate share of that and vice versa for a loss. So here we're going to have $50,000 investment. We're going to debit investment and credit cash, $50,000. This is to record the purchase of 5,000 shares of LEG stock at $10 per share. LEG has a total of 20,000 shares outstanding, and so this 5,000 share purchase represents a 25% ownership, and we're going to deem that it is sufficient to exercise significant influence. We initially record this at its cost, the investment at cost. After a while, the investor reports income of $10,000, the investor's proportionate 25% share of that 10,000 is 2,500, and notice very uniquely what we're going to do. We're going to debit the investment account 2,500 and credit investment income 2,500. That's the investor's proportionate share, 25% of the total income of the investee. It caused the investment account to increase and the credit causes income to, to be recognized on the investor's books. No dividends are being paid, it's just tracking. So if you think about the income of the investee, it causes its equity to go up, and we pick up our proportionate share of that increase in equity as income as well, hence the name, the equity method. Uh, if LEG pays out $4,000 in dividends, we expect to collect our 25% share, or $1,000, so we debit cash, $1,000, and credit the investment account, $1,000. Now we're reducing the investment account, but think about the effect of dividends. Dividends decrease the equity of the investee, and we're decreasing our investment account for our proportionate share. So in many ways, our investment account is tracking the equity of the investee both up and down for earnings and dividends.